Finally, Stellantis has officially announced the debut of the Ram 1200 midsize pickup, following a preview presentation at the end of May. The pickup is yet another Chinese Kanj F70 derivative, developed utilizing the rebadge technique, selling an existing product with a new game or symbol, following in the footsteps of the Peugeot Landtrek and Fiat Titano. There aren't many distinctions in the general design they're mostly concentrated in the details. On this instance, the REM logo is centered on the front grille, which also includes unique aspects. On the more costly models, the piece is coated in chrome, while the basic model is finished in black. The tailgate prominently displays the brand's emblem. Everything in the cabin is the same. And the pictures show that the new emblems are the only changes. Similar to the land track in global markets, Mexico offers the 1,200 in single and double body designs. The buyer has a choice of three trams, Tradesman, Bighorn, or Laramie, using REM's customary naming convention, depending on the case. All variants share the same mechanicals, including the same 2.4 turbo gasoline engine producing 210 horsepower and 32.6 kg FM of torque. There are six gears in a gearbox, whether it is automated or manual. There is 4x4 traction. The 1200 will be shipped straight from Chainan's factory in China to Mexico. From Uruguay, where Stellantis also assembles the land track and distributes it throughout Latin America. The Fiat Titano will make its way to Brazil. August will see the start of deliveries to the Mexican market. There, the 1200 will go up against the Chinese S10 Max as well as the Nissan Frontier and Toyota Hilux.